Hello! Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And hey, I'm Alexis P. Bubbles. Really? The B today stands for Plain Jane. I take back everything I've said. I'm switching sides. I am firmly boarded first class in mm -hmm. Plain Jane's fandom. I think she is a wordsmith. I think she is an artiste. A true artiste. Mm. Drag is art. Art is valid. And not all drag is art. But, Mine's not. And we're gonna, and it's a deep tease. When we get there, we'll tell you why. I think you're saying a lot though. Are you really charmed? I am. I'm thrilled that every she's once in the in lexicon. Everyone, everyone, every once in every a while. Once in a while. Every once in a while, you see a picture or you hear a song, or in this case, you hear a phrase that perfectly encompasses not only how you're feeling, but how you've been feeling and how you plan on feeling in the future. Right. Right, and, and she did that so easily. She did that with seven little words. Deep tease, it's coming. We gotta get through another episode first before <laughs> we get to it. Yeah, we gotta. Because be. we are doing double duty. We are, thank you so much for your patience. We yes. had a very, very, very yes. busy and if you week watched with Queer Tease our with her UK back out, the with world my twin brother episode. coming back in, making a lot of apologies yeah. to me for yeah. Christ. So we just had a very busy week. So we're just gonna double up. We did. The first episode, they had to write their own verse to power. Yes, they did. What an incredible song. It's a song. I felt very empowered. Yeah, and they had to okay, write their vote. own words. You have to vote. Oh, it was kind of like a, yeah, it was voting and it was like, um, kind of like a funky, a funky song. They I had to do you, like, there is a, okay, so where I vote here in LA mm -hmm. is a school. They let me in, I don't know how. It was so stinky. When I walked in, my first thought was those no. poor children. And then my you second realize, thought was, it's poor me. I'm gonna have to stand here and vote in this. The children are the ones making the smells. Oh, we should close schools. Children be stinky. We should close no, schools. No, we don't need to close them. We just need to shoot a couple of them every once in a week. Every once in a week. <laughs> that is so true. Our country sucks. <laughs> yeah! So get out there get and Get out vote. there and vote! <laughs> Anyway, we just more wrote our verse. And then the runway for this one was True Colors. So we'll just go through their runway looks and then talk about their verses. And we are wearing our True Colors right now. Mm -hmm. I'm pink because I'm a girly girl. And I'm blue because I'm a boy. And those are the only two colors and the only two genders. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Weren't they doing great? Yeah. I really like the skinny one. She's, God, she's so funny and hot. <laughs> anyway, hi, it's me, Darbo. And it's me, Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for perfume. What? Why? Well, thank God we're being sponsored today by Scentbird. I am obsessed with Scentbird. Ever since the last time we did it, I have been milking know. those perfumes. I'm so glad we have a fresh crop from <laughs> Scentbird. <laughs> okay, listen, y'all get it. Sponsored videos. Of course we use all the products. Yeah. But there are certain products that we're married to. And I'm she is a Scentbird girly obsessed. for life. And she benefits because- You do smell so much better. I smell so much, well, I smell lovely. I don't, well, I don't think you need to just say better. It's a different way of saying lovely. Okay. Yeah. Well, they sent us three scents this month and she's already been spraying. It yeah. smells like three scents in here. So we thought we'd tell you about them. Alexis, what's your favorite oh scent? Oh my gosh. I am starting with Roja London Elixir. Roja, this has notes right. of rose, raspberry, peach, and vanilla. All three of my favorite things. Is I just love vanilla? it. No, it's more rose than, I, the rose is the first, I feel. For sure. I'm doing Wish You Were Here because that's what people always say to me. And I just like, <gasps> I'm trying to figure out what it is. Toasted almonds, which is one of my favorite things to eat. Oh, but it could be mean you're having healthy. a stroke, though, if you smell all toasted almonds. Hang so on. you want to be careful wearing that around old people. No, I'm good. Fresh coffee and summer rain. Who doesn't love all of those You smells? love coffee. Can I smell? I do. Now remember, you're not having a stroke. Okay. What? Oh, let me... 
I always love, it's the last thing I do before I step out the door. I spray a little on a wrist and I spray a little here and then I just kind of shower myself and it gets in my hair. I love a get ready with me routine that ends with perfume. If I'm watching someone get ready and they don't end with perfume, I hope they're staying at home. Another favorite thing is people notice. If people you, are like, what are you wearing? I know. And it makes you feel so good. You like, were never look, a perfume girl before. No, so at first because they never, like, well, that's the thing is, is you never know what to sick? pick. Why do you smell so good? This takes the anxiety of having to choose because for me, it's like the boxcar kids. Because women shouldn't have the right to choose. Is that what you're saying? No. Wow. No, no, no. There's so many. This way you get a little sampling of a bunch of different things and you get to try what you like. And I just love that it comes in this little case that you can take off if you want. Or yeah. what I do, I accidentally drop and then they all fall into pieces, but it's perfectly protected yeah. because we've got this magnetized case that you can lock it so it doesn't spray. They also all come in their own little individual bags. And I do keep these bags and I put hairpins in them. And so it's a really good bag to travel in drag. Oh, if yeah. If you need little like bags. Totally. Really cute. And people go, what's Scentbird? And you're like, <laughs> use code IMHO55 off at checkout and get 55% off your first month. Wait, 55% off? Yeah, bitch. Thank you so much, Scentbird, for partnering with us and sponsoring today's video. We really appreciate what you've done for Alexis. It's, it's made my life easier, too. Scentbird! Up first, we had Maya. Maya did this pretty red. I think this might be one of the first times we've seen her in hair this big, though. Yeah. She's been sticking to pretty small wigs on the runway. It's, it's, it's pretty. It's lovely, yeah. It's pretty. She looks nice. Her... Oh, I loved her verse. I loved her verse. I love that she rhymed equal with equal. And you know what? I love that no one... I mean, they even did point it out to her, but no one explicitly said, you should change that. But I guess what worms... What, what worms are wondering is what words rhyme with equal? Sequel. Hmm. Prequel. Made that up. Prequel is a word. Prequel? Prequel. Oh, prequel. Yeah, great job. Sorry, you say so many non-words. <laughs> I just assume that it's a it's your language. So she could have used one of those, but yeah. she used equal. And listen, that's why we love Maya. Okay, Maya does Maya. Well, the equal sign is two lines on top of each other. So equal, equal. I think it works. And because you said that, I am gonna put up the picture of Denali with the equal sign on her hand. Remember that picture? <laughs> one of my favorite pictures in the entire world. What was that campaign? And were people just we're doing all equal. it? Were people just doing that and adding their own? Or were people going to someone and getting that picture taken? I have to say, Denali's looked like the original. Profesh. Yeah. I mean, for the time. It was a different time. Then we had Nymphia Wind. We've seen the bananas, but yellow is her signature color, and I'm glad that she stuck with it. I thought this was so cute. Yeah. I loved this. Now, unfortunately, this was my note about her verse. I said, bless her. She slowed everything down and ended with, vote yellow. She had the hardest time coming up with her verse because Megami had gone home and she couldn't write her verse for her. And, and Zephira so, was busy helping everyone. Instead of following the beat and like saying 10 words, she would say five. She cut it in half, so she was just talking really slowly. And then out of nowhere, she says, vote yellow, which doesn't make any sense. Then, wait, she starts dancing. Yeah. And you're like, I don't really care that much that your verse made no sense. That was a really good dance. Yeah. She's such a good performer. She's such a good performer. She and she's write. really beautiful. Then we had Plain Jane. I'm going to be honest my least favorite thing she's ever Yeah, I don't care for it. I thought this but was I understand. so bad. Yeah, but I don't care for that. Her verse, it's all political, but she got really horny with hers. And listen, politics Politicians are horny. never are horny. I think Can it's really I funny. It back here. What were you going to say? Anthony Weiner got caught with his wiener out. And then he's like, I'm never gonna do that again. I'm a politician. I'm a family man. And he did it again. Yeah, and then Ladybug. Um, and his name is Anthony Weiner. Oh, and also Ladybug. What's his name? Tracy? Leslie Jordan. Leslie Gordon. Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham had Ladybug balls. That was all made up. But I did fuck a college professor from my Southern Baptist college. That had he ladybug did balls. have ladybug balls. Yeah. He had little black moles all over his balls. Did it stop me? Not at all. Yeah, she was slutty. Unfortunately, she was paired with Nymphia. She did look so a little... So when they started dancing together, Nymphia is killing it, and Plain looks a little... She looked a little something was off. Maybe. What did she Michelle was... say? Like, it was like a chink in the armor. Like, we saw the cracks start to form. Maybe her plane was Boeing. 
Well, no, her door didn't fly off. No, but it came close. That's true. Oh my God! Up next, Safira. Okay. Oh my God, uh, Safira! Show this was me hers. your suitcase. What the? Fu Where is she getting this suitcase? I don't think that's away. What? Or ways? What's that suitcase company? Oh, away! We would love to be sponsored. I really want to charge my phone. Yes, and I would suitcase. just, I would just love a suitcase. Yeah. I love bags. Okay, her verse. Her verse was amazing. I don't. She didn't win, right? She did. I see why she won. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I watched it. I watched it a few days ago. She was fan fucking tastic. Yeah. I mean, this bitch. Yeah. She is. She's the whole package. She's and a she, winner. She's gonna win. I, she has to win. Right? If she doesn't win, I, I think will keep what watching I'm the show. Be, not happily. I, I won't. I'll watch it like this. If she doesn't win, I'm gonna watch it like this. Okay, that's how I watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> then we had Dawn. I thought this was so fucking cute. I Her thought it was blue, cute. Yeah. Like, and it was all fabrics from like a childhood bedroom. Who? Well, what was your childhood bedroom? Oh, you had to oh, share it. Beach. Well, yeah, I had to share it. But when my brother and I were fighting so often, they couldn't keep us in a room together anymore because we would have killed each other. Honestly, it would have been such a relief in high school. High school was hard. I got to decorate my own room. <gasps> First of all, wallpaper. This was the time of wallpaper. I picked denim wallpaper. Oh, no. And I picked pink bandana. What are this? What was that called? Trimming? No, the paper in the middle, like the thick, the border, border, border. Was it a border? It was like a long border that went down the middle of the wall and it was pink. Bandana. Bandanas. And the reason- They let you get that? The reason is because my brother and I both picked the denim look to start and he picked the red one. And I said, I didn't want the red one because he picked it, but I don't want, I said, I don't want the pink one though. And my dad said, that's okay. Pink is just a form of red. Then my brother backed out and I was like, well, we already settled on the pink. And one in the stink. There was a time when your dad was kind. Very, yeah. It was the heart surgery. When he had open heart surgery, it totally changed his personality. I think that's so fascinating, but also sad. It's okay, he's very close to death. Yeah. God is a woman. Okay, Dawn oh. in the thing. Oh, I liked her verse. I didn't quite understand her verse, but she looked cool as fuck. That is a girl that I'm gonna be looking at on the on the stage. You ever been to a stage? I loved her look. I Her verse wasn't my favorite, but I thought she had fine. Yeah. Love that beat. Q in this lilac, lavender, uh, and this cool ass hat. Q always serves on the runway. Does she? You, you liked this. That's interesting. To be honest, I thought you were gonna like it. That is so rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. I like the idea of the hat. That is the end for me. Her performance. I know. What? I wrote, uh, I don't know, fine. I couldn't focus on anything other than that jacket wasn't appropriate for that type of performance. And the fact that they called it out later, like I loved your look and the performance, it was so cool. I was like, that looks like you were supposed to take the jacket off before you perform and you forgot. And the hair, I just. I don't mind the hair. Oh, I didn't care for it. I don't know, it was kind of a. Uh, the jacket mm. felt like a mistake. You know what it was? Her verse while meaningless, felt very earnest. And I have a, I had a strong reaction to that. That might just be a me thing. You had a, a reaction like, I don't like this or I do like this. It was too earnest. Like, you know who would be a great judge? What are you judge? doing? None of this makes A sense. guest judge on Drag Race is earnest. Like earnest. He's dead. Lung cancer. Well, okay. Do it, do it. Go ahead, you're gonna do a transition. I wanna hear what it is, go ahead. Well, I bet when he was in the hospital getting treated for his lung cancer, he got some morphine, which is what we get with Thank our you. next contestant. Thank you. That was really great. I don't morphine. give a fuck. I loved this look. I loved it. It's it, weird, but I like it. I, it worked for me. I think, too, I've just been with her. I've been nervous about her runways. So anytime I'm at all, like, engaged, I think I go over the top for it. Because yeah. I'm like, finally. Okay, great. Yeah, she looked amazing. Sure. Bob Mackie, but... 
No, her verse. Titties. Her performance. I loved her verse. And she looks incredible. She looks amazing. I love her she face. She was in her element this episode. Yeah, this was this was hers. Then we get kind of a shock, a surprise, a shock. A, a, I was aghast. They ask Plain if she wants to use her potion, immunity potion, because it was expiring for reasons unknown to us. I hope they never bring back the immunity potion. That was so stupid. I appreciate you trying, but don't don't try again. I liked it. Why? Because it's fun. They had Why? a little bottle. What was fun about it? They had a little bottle. Oh. Plain's like, yes, I want to use my potion. On my sister. On Nymphia, because Nymphia was so worried because she did. She did. She did poorly. She did not do well, which was really nice. Gagged because Plain Jane is not nice, but then the gag of it was that Plain Jane was in the bottom. Well, because they didn't send anyone home, they never described her as being in the bottom, which she held on to for dear life, but she was called last. She was she was called last. She was very clear uh, to me. For me, part of me, she was very clearly in the bottom, and she just could not see that. To kind of fast forward just a little into the next episode, everyone else knows it except for her. Yeah. And Dawn is the one that finally calls it out, and Dawn's like, I'm seeing like a basic ass, like boring dress, and like, you were called last. You were in the bottom. Yeah. And Plain gets so mad, and she gets up, and she's like, okay, okay, you ready? I mean, playfully mad. And then she starts reading Dawn, which I didn't think made a lot of sense because I thought Dawn looked cool as hell. Yeah. Also, Plain is standing up. She's hopping and puffing. She's getting sweaty. Dawn is this. Okay, girl, you were still in the bottom. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was so good. No one goes home. No one goes home. Plain is very lucky. Safira and Morphine are named the top two, which yes. was so exciting. Oh, and agree. they did that thing of like, they didn't tell anyone there was going to be a top two. So yeah. it's, are we in trouble? Like, what is going on? Surprise, it's the top two. It did kind of give me Alexis Bevels because no matter what someone's about to say to you, you're thinking, are they mad at me? Yeah. And I know that's what they were thinking in that moment. Yeah. I am. Safira wins Mama. She wins that. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> she wins. She does. She does win. Congratulations, Safira. Let's go to the next episode because here we started in that turmoil. We started in the turmoil, which was just so fun. Yeah. It was so funny. It also, I mean, we've said it from the beginning that Plain's kind of bully attitude is very obviously rooted in an insecurity. Insecure place. And seeing her just so disconnected from reality was kind of like a, yeah, we know, girl. Yeah. Good for her. So Suspicions confirmed. Live wherever you want. But mama. Live wherever reality. Kudos for saying that. <gasps> for spilling. Oh my God. And here's where I changed my mind. And I've never said a bad word about Plain Jane. <laughs> I have never felt so seen and heard. Mm -hmm. It's poetry. Okay, so Q reveals that she's been living with HIV for two years. She's sharing kind of her her reasoning as to why she's doing the, the look she's doing, and she's just really opening up. She's crying. It's a really sweet moment. Yeah. It's completely overshadowed by what Plain Jane says. Mama, kudos for saying that. For, for spilling. spilling. Now. But she does it. Can I say? Oh, and I will go. Thank you. When I saw, <laughs> I saw Evan Ross Katz's picture of it before you see, I yeah, heard it. And I saw it all through the internet before I heard it and saw it myself too. So when you see it, she is just talking. That is her being. That sincere. is her being sincere. That is yes. her saying, "Oh my god!" But it is. That's so wonderful. Thank you for feeling. It safe is objectively to share funny though. Me. It is objectively funny though. I will say that was something mm -hmm. that my brother, while he was here, my brother and his wife, I forget, have been in church for their whole lives. So they don't know how the rest of the world talks. My brother was absolutely shook by the word. Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy Schmidt. What? Your brother and his wife were Kimmy Schmidt. They were locked underground. Yes. They cool. were locked cool. underground cool. Yeah. thinking that this is how it had to be. And then they have come up for air and realize, oh wait. It can be way better than this. Absolutely. Yeah. So my brother, I told the story of Priscilla Presley coming into your work and Naomi Smalls just happening to be there and leaning down and saying, are you gagged? Because <laughs> I think it's really funny. I think it's an amazing story that you're at work and Naomi Smalls just happens to be there and she is like, is that Priscilla Presley? But instead of saying, is that Priscilla Presley? She pulls a plane and she goes, are you gagged? That's funny to me. Yeah. And my brother was like, gagged? What is that? So, so then the whole rest of the weekend, my brother is trying to use gagged. I don't know that he ever used it correctly, but I had a great time listening to him. This was the episode that they watched. They've never seen Drag Race. And I was like, I have to watch it for work. Like, do you want to watch it? Not a great great episode to, to be introduced to Drag Race 
with, I gotta be honest. But when that happened, by the end of the weekend, my brother was like, kudos for saying that, mama. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. So, plain, you brought me and my brother even closer together. My favorite part about it is kudos for saying that. I like saying that. Like, you just shared something really deeply personal and things that Q's family didn't, wasn't even privy to yeah. at time of filming. And instead of, kudos for saying that. Mm -hmm. It just makes me laugh. It's so funny. I was a was I gagged? I was a little gagged when Q said that she'd been living with HIV for two years and she was diagnosed at 24. Q oh, was speaking 26. to her age, yeah. I swear to God, and I'm 39, I thought she was my age. I really did. But that is to say, I don't love this age talk that TikTok is doing. Millennials, don't put your face on the thing and say, how old do I look? You're inviting You're inviting discourse. bad. You're inviting bad. And if you do look older for your age, then don't go on TV and say that you're 26, you know? <laughs> Let's go do these presentations. What do you think of these slides clip joke? I saw the online stuff saying that they stole that joke because it's a joke that Katya does in their live show. Internet, I don't know if that's true or not. That is a very basic joke. That is a joke that has been done by many of many a comedian. It's just low-hanging fruit. So is it possible that they knew of that joke going into the show? Maybe? People are like, they stole her joke. Why did would they? you, why would you do, I Even mean. Even if they did, who cares? Do the slides part. Who cares? Do the slides part, because as, as, as I understand it, Katya did the clips. But if she didn't do the slides, just do the slides and leave it at that. Because it's fine. I mean, people steal jokes all the time from each other. But I don't even know if that's stealing. But, but so that's is, why it makes that's me think lexicon. like, maybe they didn't, they didn't know. Because why would you use the same exact wording? to play devil's advocate against myself. If I were on the show and I was put in a specific situation where I had seen another drag queen do it successfully, fuck it, it's a reality show. I'm trying to save my ass. I would do it. But, that is like but saying you're not the doing cloud, the, things the sky that is blue. Katya, one of the most popular drag queens from Drag Race, you're not doing that. I would. You would do that even though it's been filmed? Yes. But they would instantly know that you copied. But the judges wouldn't. But the judges wouldn't at home. That's the okay. Viewers. Yeah. So when you go on that show, you know that immediately there's going to be a bunch of people that hate you for no reason. So at that point, they already hate me. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to win this thing. Katya wasn't mad about it. See, I think you should steal from smaller creators that haven't been on TV. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to start following everybody from Camp One Kiki. <laughs> One second. Hey. For everyone, I felt like they were the most in sync. Yeah. I wanted them to go further with the horny. Yes. Because I didn't feel it creeping in until like the end. I also think though, can I say this? They looked great. When I see a comedy duo, okay, I'll use us as an example. It, we're serious reporters. It would be exhaust. I'm using, it's, listen, use your journalistic mind to think of this as an editorial piece. This is just opinion. It's not fact. Okay. So I would say that if we were on the same level, okay, if we were playing the same I feel character. so far away from you. Is this a bit? If we were doing the exact same thing, we were on the same level. Like imagine that she was as funny as I was or that she had the same dry sense of humor that you come to know and love in me. It would get a little one note. Or imagine that note. she had my giant tits. I had a dream that I had your giant tits last I had night. a dream that you were a zombie and you tried to kill me. I was going for those tits, Ma! <laughs> Kudos. In a comedy duo, there has to be a straight man and there has to be... A trans woman. A trans woman. <laughs> and that's what we do. That's what we do so well. So I was a little like, okay, y'all are both telling the same jokes with the exact same kind of character. That got a little boring. I gotta yeah. be honest. I gotta be honest. But the audience seemed to enjoy it. Then we go to the next group, and that's Dawn and Maya. Oof. And I just want to say, Dawn, good for you. Yeah. You tried. You did. You held your you own. You held your own. and You, you held your own. And Maya just, it's not for her. She should have just tumbled. I wish there was a, uh, yeah. Did you notice at the very beginning, Maya dropped her note cards? I think it was cards? on purpose. I do too. Because she kept I wish, the other stuff. I wish she had done that. I wish she had continued to physically use, use that use as physical an humor yes. to not be able to talk. Yeah. And have Dawn do everything, do all the presentation. Have Maya keep trying to, uh, but she falls off the stage. Like have Dawn be really mean and bossy to Maya where the audience can hear it and then turn around to the audience and be sweet. Kind of like how you and me do. 
What do you mean? And then finally, we have um, a group of three. We have Sephira, we have Morphine, we have Nymphia. Obviously, Sephira was number one. Yeah, Sephira I mean, was number one. They did cut to commercial when she kind of stumbled over her joke, but then she came back. No, she immediately got everybody else on yeah. board. She's just such a goddamn professional. Yeah. I did enjoy Nymphia. Kind yeah. of funny. Yeah, I thought Nymphia was funny. I didn't think Morphine did that bad either. I don't think she did that bad, but did she do that good? When we're getting down to the cast being this size, I think they're really pulling hair, uh, cutting strings in half, cutting a hair with a knife. Cutting bananas. Let's go ahead and go to the runway. It is flashback <gasps> DragCon, DragCon 1980. Love, love. So you were seven when love you went to DragCon this. in 1980. Can you tell me like, who did you meet? I don't remember because we were just doing coke, yeah. rails, bumps, lines. <laughs> Keys. It was <laughs> insane. We were fucking. We were like. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing fingertips. Here, put a bunch on my fingertips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. First stop, we had Plain Jane. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it was fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hi, GP. Then we had Q. Now I loved this. She's this is so she good. She made the AIDS ribbon like her. Also, she did It was like Keith her collar Herring. that then went Keith Herring adjacent. Uh, I, I love that. It was that, adjacent, that yeah. she no, couldn't she get the wasn't... pattern, obviously, because it's Keith Herring. No, no, no. So she had something made that kind of resembled it. I thought this was so good. I thought it was beautiful. Even the hair is a little bit like, yeah. I, I think everything so ab about this, I loved, loved, loved yeah, it. Yeah, I loved her look. Dawn did Dawn. Now, keep in mind, Dawn was born after the towers fell, so she doesn't remember the 80s. She's the, yeah, it's kind of glow. It's kind of like you know gorgeous what? ladies of wrestling. Yes, it is. That's what That's I really thought. Good. That's what I thought. But I, again, I say this every week. I love her chaos. I don't understand how she puts She's these looks together. Her. She's fully her. She's fully I always enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about it. Then we had Maya. Okay, I listen. love the hair. Listen, do you know where this look came from? Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know. If so this the was prompt was real. DragCon 1980. Obviously, that did not exist. Okay. Yeah. That that it wasn't around at that time. Maya googled DragCon 1980, and a picture came up, an AI image that someone generated on Instagram, and she was like, "So I saw that picture. So I wanted to to do that look because I loved that look, and I'm." She doesn't say it on the show, but I, I have to think that she thought that was a real picture. I have to think that she thought DragCon 1980 was real. I love it. I love how she interpreted the hair. You do love it? I get 80s. No, I, I know, know what, but I, it's an AI's like, version of 80s. This it, which looks is, like an AI which drawing. Which is kind it's of so iconic. Funny. It's iconic. No, it's iconic. It's for iconic. Sure, for um, sure. Oh, bitch. I don't... First, Safira looks incredible. I love it. I want to wear this. Yeah, it's so fun. I think cute. this is absolutely gorgeous. It's big business. It's, uh, it's Julia Roberts really after business. the money or whatever. When sure. in that movie, when she's um, lady, when she's she, when she's that. When she's a whore. When the judges, when RuPaul, they do this every once in a while. They say, "This is the stupidest look," and it's like, it's not stupid. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't like that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your journey with us. Then we had Morphine. I think it was Michelle that said she looked like a deflated Dolly Parton. And I gotta say, I agree. She did say that her hair broke. Yeah. She said broke. And it, we can tell the hair's pretty bad. No, no, no. The hair she planned to wear broke. broke. She yeah. borrowed this wig yes. from someone that's else. That's what I'm saying. She said her hair broke, so she couldn't wear it. Yeah. So that's why she's wearing this one. Yeah. Yeah, it looks bad. I don't mind it. Oh. Kind of gives me like Did the drag queen the version side? of the wall bang. The 80s like wall this bang. This looks like another AI image. I'm sure Maya was like, <laughs> yeah. I saw that one. Then we had Nymphia. Now Nymphia did her spin on a Grace Jones look. And I thought it was brilliant as fuck. It was brilliant as fuck. Oh yeah, I loved it. <laughs> You sat there silently, not knowing what I was talking about. I was thinking about how I, like, wanted, mm. I want to take this wig home that I take gave it. to you. Take it. It's your color. It's not even my color. Okay, thank you. I would like you to make me. I'm gonna make you a wig that looks just like this, though. Okay. Not in this color, but in your color. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get on the boards. Or can I have another like pinky? Remember when she was like that? Yes. I want another like pinky. Yeah. So it always makes me feel so kind. Okay. This makes me feel very professional. Yeah. 
The winner again is Safira. Yeah. Now that came as a gag, especially to Q. We got to see her face. She was not happy. She was not happy. And I have to admit, I see her point. The audience loved plain and Q the and entire Q's time. And Q's runway. And Q's runway was amazing. While I loved Safira's, personally, I would I would want to wear that. Q's meant a little bit more. This is one of the few times this season, actually, where it feels like a purposeful jam Feels like a snub. jam, yeah. yeah. It does feel like they just wanted to break Q a little, which, listen, I'm all for. I do enjoy that. But this seemed like... Well, I don't even want to say it's the wrong choice because Safira did great and she looked amazing. But based on the audience's reaction, I was I was a little surprised. I gotta say. Quel surprise. The bottom two are Morphine and Maya. Oh, uh, get the Miami girls. Yes. yes. Were you excited about it? Yeah, when just, it was happening, I was like, oh yeah, they're both from Miami. I loved it. Because they we have seen a little bit of rivalry, sort of, in the talking heads, but we haven't really seen anything come head to head. Maya started with Morphine was bending backwards. <gasps> oh, Maya I forgot about this. Ripped yes. her skirt off she and had threw her skirt it over Morphine. It. You know what Morphine did? She turned it into her own prop and did this like swing around. And yeah, she recovered beautifully. I loved this lip sync. I had a great loved time. this. I had a great time. I loved this. I don't think it was dirty. I thought it was fair game. I thought, if anything, it helped Morphine win. Maya threw her skirt at her, and then Morphine threw her titty at Maya. So they're even. One skirt, one big skirt, one tiny titty. Equal. I will say, if it weren't for the fact that Maya has lip synced 12 times at this point. I, I I don't know. I thought it was a pretty tight race. I thought it could it have gone to either. It was a really tight race. It was seeing Morphine, but also Morphine delivered. But it was, I think largely it was like seeing Morphine for the first time. Um, fight. Fight. That split, that was like, I mean, it's hard to make, we've seen splits after 16 seasons and many different franchises. We've seen every form of split ever, but to see a new take on the split, that was interesting. The slow-mo split, yeah. That was it really was great. like, it was like a, it wasn't even a slow-mo split. It was like a stuck for a good portion of time. Yeah, Dawn said. I hope she stretched. It looked amazing. Like it it's was... exact. Dawn said exactly like. Is this what it feels like when I interrupt you? Mm -hmm. This is I was not excited. A good feeling. I was, I was really ahead, excited because you love when jokes go so long that the audience is scared it's bad until they come around again. Yeah. And so Don said that that's what that split was with morphine. And I listen, I love a joke that starts kind of funny, then it gets kind of scary and mad, and then it's funny again. Yeah. Good job, Morphine. So Morphine wins. We say goodbye to Maya. Now, Maya, incredible showing. She. I agree. I thought you were going to jump in. Well, I mean, now we know the thing about the costumes that weren't made. You know, she was at a disadvantage, but she clawed her way through so much. I'm very happy that her storyline provided so much entertainment this season. I do get a little annoyed when someone's in the bottom and they just keep staying and keep staying. Yeah. However, with Maya, rightfully so. It's not so, her fault. Yeah. Rightfully so. I mean, she... She just killed everyone else in the lip sync. But we knew, we never thought she was going to win, ever. So the when show? these, yeah, so yeah. when these eliminations happen, it is kind of a relief to just kind of keep the show moving. But I'm, I'm happy she had really as much time excited. as she did. I know I say this for everyone. I'm really excited to see her come back. She's a shoe in for a future, like, All Stars, like, redemption arc. If that's the case, my hope for her, much like I had the hope for Gothi, and unfortunately it didn't happen, I hope that she works with... It just gets a little practice on a mic yeah. in front of a camera. Works with like a comedian or works with some sort of like speech coach or something to I just like give her funny. more present, I think she's more of a personality. To, I think she's just a little timid. But I don't think that that's something that naturally changes in someone. You can tell that that's I'm kind of timid. her default. That's not true. You can kind of tell that's her default. So I, I hope if she were to come back, <laughs> she'd be, I don't know, she'd have a personality. Like, well, I think when she does come back, she's going to have a, a little more, you know, because she's going to be traveling. She's going to get experience. If she's going to be traveling so much, she's going to be tired, which means less personality. No, she's going to wow. get experience on a mic. I would like to see her runways fully realized. I don't think it's fair that she didn't get to show everything because her designer backed out on her. I would like to see her return for an All-Stars just yeah. so she has that opportunity. But again, I don't think her personality is one that makes her a viable candidate for winning the show. I just don't. 
I didn't say it. I think she would come back and win. <laughs> <laughs> Visit the set, you mean? No, no, no. I used to work there. <laughs> no, I think she would come back and slay a bunch more lip syncs. That's true. Listen, I'm really happy that she had the journey she had. I'm sure that was really exciting to go into this not knowing what you're going to do about seven of your costumes and going as far as she did. Jeez, I think that's great. yeah. Congrats. Well, that is the end of those two episodes. Thank you so much, everyone, for your patience. But guess what? We're back to on schedule because she quit her job. I quit. So baby. we will be back next week on time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, of course, bell notification. Sort of on time. You know we don't for us, get here for to us. a schedule, but you know. Join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash IMHO the show. Also, we're both on Cameo, so go there. And you can get a Shamio. That's with both of us. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work for me, personally, because like I have to survive it with her, and then I have to hear it again <laughs> when I edit it. So they do take a little longer just because I have to protect my piece. Ha ha! <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. I'm just back to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video and remind y'all to use the link below and uh, start smelling better. Truly, if it works for Alexis, it can work for you. And don't forget, all of our merch is on dragqueenmerch.com. Bye. Mama, kudos for saying that. For spilling. Mama, kudos. Do you know what makes me laugh? Bitch Sesh, one of my favorite podcasts. I don't know who said it. I think it was like a Sonia, Ramon, uh, Sonia Ramona. Instead of saying kudos, they say kudos because they, um. they read it wrong. So when I was I reading it before I saw the moment, I was saying in my head, Kudu, Mama, kudos for saying that, for spilling. Wait. My brother shared with me something that he believed as a child. You know, children are stupid. And yeah. he's like, yeah, for the longest time I thought this was true. What was it? You know what I thought when I was little? Do it. I thought when parents had kids, they stopped sleeping. Right. They didn't need sleep anymore. Because, well, yeah. well, no, because they were always awake when I went to bed, and they yeah. were always awake when I woke up. The same thing. Well, I told him that I thought, because we watched Are You Being Served and Keeping Up Appearances, which is like late 70s, early 80s UK television, I thought that meant that the UK was 20 years behind us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I just thought that was a thing. What was it? I don't remember, but you know what we did talk about while he was here? I, I talked to him about the French exchange student that Grant, like, trained to call me gay and call me a faggot. <gasps> and Grant! How yeah. Well, we were teenagers. We were kids. Doesn't matter. It's water under the bridge. Anyway, and I threw his my coke in his face at a restaurant because he again called me a faggot. Okay, well that's faggot behavior. It was amazing. Well, no, he was calling me, we were on vacation and my brother had like told him to call me gay and call me a faggot. And my parents didn't want to do anything because they thought it would be rude. So like the entire vacation, I'm just having this, this French kid call me a faggot. And so we're at dinner, it's like, this is like day six of this at this point. And he looks you across threw it the, in the French guys? Yes. He looks across the table because I had already complained to my parents multiple times that day about it and they refused to do anything. So he's across the table from me. He like looks at the menu and then Grant was like, do it. And then he was like, are you gay or something? I don't know. That was my French accent. And I was like, fuck you. So I just took my cup and I threw it in his face. Guess who got in huge trouble? You. Me, of course. But Grant was like, I don't remember doing that. I was like, Grant, that was a defining moment of my childhood. I remember this. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was like, it's fine. We were young. It doesn't matter. I have three questions. What? Did you throw the cup or just the liquid inside? You think I threw the cup at his face? I watch Real Housewives. That's I why I'm asking. That's why I'm asking. You said that that was faggot behavior. A faggot would never let go of the cup. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Uh, second question. Was the French guy hot? No. Oh. No. All of his body hair was straight. Really, really straight. He was his leg hair was in the really morning. straight. Maybe. Maybe. He only showered once a week, which was like mind boggling to us. But mm. pretty, probably pretty regular, right? But... You know what he wanted? He wanted Nutella. That was like his favorite snack, but we'd never heard of it. So we find it somewhere and he gets it and that's all he ate the entire time he was here or there. 
you know, in the United States. So for years, I refused to eat Nutella because he ate it. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, no, I'm obsessed with it, obviously. But he's just, his, all of his body hair was so straight. That's so weird. Uh, my third question. What do you, where do you think Kate Middleton is? A bunker? Bunker is a beautiful name for a little boy, don't you think? Come here, Bunky. <laughs> Bunks. <gasps> yeah, Bunker. Yeah. I love that. I absolutely love that. Bunker Bosch. Hmm? Bunker Bosch. Is that the character's name? I've never seen it. <clears throat> I don't know. Watch Bosch on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Goodbye. I feel like that's a USA show. I think it's on Prime. Characters welcome.